should be on just about now. Is the stream on? Is the stream on? I never know. I never know. Uh, about to preview. Is that the problem? Here we go. Here we go. An error occurred. I apologize if the stream is on and I'm not here. YouTube is telling me that it's not on. And yet it's also saying that it is on. There we go. Okay. Sorry for all that, folks. Uh, we are, in fact, going now. Tonight, on this episode of Dan Does Data, we are going to continue looking at CAFE. And I should be a little more specific. We're going to look at Pi CAFE, the Python interface to the CAFE deep learning uh, framework. Uh, regular CAFE, you sort of specify your model in a JSON file, and then you just say, hey, run. Uh, but I strongly prefer to use Python whenever I can, both to make it work with, with other data manipulation libraries that I'm going to use, and just because I like it for interactive use. Okay, so last time you might remember, I was desperately trying to install uh, Cafe and failing miserably. Uh, Pi I want to call this a goof. Uh, so I was trying, uh, failing miserably. So I said, fine, I'm giving up. I will just use Docker, which means I need to run my Docker daemon. That's right. Okay. So I did that. Docker run. So I installed it with Docker, which means it's using Python 2, which I'll just have to live with. I tried to get the Python 3 version, but that, that was not playing nice. And because I just want to play around with this a little bit and see how it works, I'm not too worried about it. So I can import PyCafe, no module name PyCafe. Interesting. What is it called then, if not that? I swear, I had this working earlier. It's even the CPU version. Is it just import cafe? No. Oh, I could have sworn it was Pi Cafe. What? Am I just misunderstanding? Pi Cafe, Pi Cafe, Pi Cafe example. That would be good, yeah. Cafe net. Oh, man. One of these days. Why do you call it Pi Cafe if it's not import Pi Cafe? Is any further document than the tutorial locks in the Python interface and doc strings? New Python interface as of a year ago. Mark a good exchange and add more examples. An interesting example which uses LMDB. I'm not really familiar with LMDB, multi layer neural network. Okay, so it is just import cafe. Oh, and they're using sklearn to do stuff. Well, that's neat. So, cafe net. I just want to get to the point where I can see what the heck it is that they're doing. Cafe net, I imagine, was a very popular image recognition. Yeah, because there's a whole bunch of convolutional layers. Looks like six, followed by some other layers. Make net. Oh yeah, just just do it. Man, this is a. As someone commented last week. There's just a distinct lack of documentation here for this kind of stuff. If I can just see how to import the data the right way, what is this? We're only using the CPU. Train.csv. Why do I have to use pandas to read in my. Alright. Import cafe. That's all I really want. Failed to initialize something. Matplotlib is building the font cache using. This may take a moment. Interesting. Cafe dot. Okay. At least now I can get some some Python help built in. Classifier extends net for image class prediction by scaling. Is this specifically for images? Am I misunderstanding Cafe? I thought it was a general deep learning framework. Image dinge. But maybe because it came up out of image uh, problems, that just happens to be how everything's called. Cafe.train, 
it's in test mode? I guess it's in test mode. Cafe Cafe. Hey, what's that? Tell me about it. Wrap the internal Cafe C++ module. Okay. And there's Numpy, and there's all this other stuff. Okay. Various solvers using the different optimizers. A to Delta, A to Grad, Atom, Stochastic Gradient Descent, RMS Prop, Nestorov, Izip, and some other stuff. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I just want to know how do I read in some data? That's really what I need to know. This maybe this will tell me. Da -da. Cafe dot proto dot. I don't want to have to use proto, buddy. I don't want to deal with protocol buffers. I just want to read in some data. That's all. Oh, this is Dan does data. I just want to read data in. It's not not so hard, is it? Proto cat. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, training the model. Oh, this guy's just calling cafe from the command line. Oh, oh gosh. Applying the model. Okay. And then he's making cafe.net. So he's doing something clear. Is cafe.net the one the primitive that I want? Okay, so that's a C thing with not helpful at all doc string. Okay. Pi cafe, cheat sheet for cafe, pi cafe, yes. Please help me out here, pal. Help me out. Cheat sheet for all the important pi cafe commands. The pi cafe tests in this line, in this file, are the main gateway to Python coding interface. Net. Hey, see, like this should be on their website or on the Pi Cafe website or something. First of all, you would like to choose whether to use Cafe GPU or CPU. Set mode CPU because we were only able to get the CPU Docker version. Ding! Logging before init Google logging is written to standard error. That's fine. You cannot create Kublas handle. Kublas won't be available. Also fine because we're using the CPU, so we're not using Kublas, we're not using Kurand, we're just using CAFE on the CPU. What is this? Not net object has several attributes method, they can be found here. Like referring someone to the source code is never a good sign. Net blobs. Especially when it's all these underscore sort of private properties of things. Net forward, the forward pass, okay. Net backward. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. How popular is Cafe? Crazy popular. 10,000 people have started. 6,000 people have forked it. And 400 issues. Open. But that's, that's common to any popular library. Access the network of blobs. The other com core component is a solver. So the blobs also contain a parameter? Path to proto text descriptor file. I really, I just want to specify my own net. Oh, train is a flag, that's zero. Interesting, okay. Uh, hey, Chuby, I'm glad you were able to get some help when I respond to you. Sorry I didn't see your tweet sooner. I, uh, I like get notifications on Twitter, but that's people following and people liking and people who tweet at me. Uh, I try to be good about that. So for those of you just listening, uh, someone asked me on Twitter, how do I send text from Vim over here? Over here, let's say print. How do I just send this over to IPython? And the answer is Slimux. Uh, so I use Vim plus IPython inside of Tmux, and there's a Tmux mo module, I guess, plugin. No, it's a, sorry, it's a Vim plugin that lets you send text from Vim to an arbitrary Tmux pane. So it t comes up with this selection here down here. These are my different Tmux panes. So zero is the session, colon zero is the window, which is this first one, dot zero is the one on the left. Oh, that's not what I wanted. One second, there we go, and you just did enter. It copies it over. 
So basically, it wraps a whole bunch of tmux commands to, to do that. Uh, if you find some of like my oldest videos, I sort of explain how to do that, and I've got a website, uh, compute. Like it's, I don't think it's called Dan Does Data, but it, it's linked off my YouTube page somewhere. Anyway, we're still trying to get Cafe to just read in some damn data. I gotta say, though, this makes me feel a whole lot better about things like Theano and TensorFlow that had this like down to a science of like, okay, you can just do some simple things here. Creating a new layer type, specifying a network architecture in a Python. Buddy, I just need to read in some data. Net.blobs. So you make a net, which simply create a net, in this case using data layer specified for training. But how do I set my own? If I can't set my own net without specifying this JSON thing, there's a good chance I'm just going to tell, I'm just going to stop with cafe. What is this? Nah, I can't do that. Because I don't want to have to set up proto text descriptor file. It has two constructors using this. And if you already have some weights, you can do that. Hi, Cafe. Deep learning tutorial and Cafe technology. And if I'm missing something obvious, anyone do tell me that I'm an idiot and tell me uh, the right thing to do. This is the internet. I fully expect to be told I'm an idiot several times a day at a minimum. Da -da -da. Cafe set mode, defining a neural network. First, create a. Ah! Oh. God, I want to just. I want to define it in the code, man. Well, that's misery. All right, fine, 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 fine. Con.prototext. Fine, fine, fine. This is, this is not going to be fun. Chubby your infants. Uh, bonsoir. Bon nuit. Been a long time since I took French. I apologize. Uh, okay, so what do we got here? They're doing some silly convolution on 100 by 100. Why is input dimension four, listed four times here? Things I just don't know about Cafe. Uh, I guess viewing GitHub? No. That's not what I wanted. I wanted documentation. DIY, deep learning. Oh, geez, no. Geez, no, I don't want to see your silly presentation. I, I apologize for ever clicking on that. There we go. Cafe, there we go. Tutorial documentation, okay. That's layers blobs, anatomy of the cafe model. Blobs wrapper of the actual data being processed and passed along by cafe. Cafe stores and communicates data using blobs. Why can't a blob be just in Python? Implementation details. Using the uh, C++ stuff. So you talk about data there. Top blob, bottom blob. All right, that, that seems like I ought to be able to use blobs to do what I want. This is not telling me why there's four. Input dimensions. I just don't understand. Like, in my brain, I set something in input dimension. If I do that again, I just overwrite the thing I did before, right? Is that crazy? A am I a crazy person for thinking that's the way it should be? You tell me. I just, uh, that doesn't make any sense. How do they do it here? Do they even set that at all? No, oh, they're using this. This file. No, this is just how to use cafe in Python. This is all the things that get exposed using boost. So boost is a good way to expose uh, C or C++ things to Python. It can do a lot of the wrapping for you sort of automatically, which can be nice. Um, I have mixed eh, mixed reviews for boost in general. It just like it creates this dependency hell. Uh, but when it works, it's very nice.
little little nicer than C types and other things. Test solver, test Python layer, test net. Oh, 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 simple layer. What is this? Class parameter layer, class Python net file. Again, like, why can't I define this in Python? Maybe I'm just not searching for the right thing. PyCafe, define net in Python. I really don't want to bother. There's confusion about the Python interface. You usually get stuck with matching cafe. Cafe net interface versus cafe.classifier and cafe.detector. It's real and the others are meant only as examples. Pre-processing options, exactly right. Net with data, ugh. This is from a year ago. I respect that they have their different ideas about how they should interface with Python, uh, but I believe it turns out that those are just not the same ideas that I have. Like, I want to import Python, or I want to import PyCafe, and say PyCafe.net, do something. Specify my network. I want to start specifying my network with, network with Python commands. That's what I want to do. Da, 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 da. All right, fine. We will continue on with this silly example. We will just, for the sake of argument, where are we? Oh, right. We're in Docker over here, though. So, you know, I don't have things that I want to have. I wonder if I can use an IO stream to be a horrible person. See, it doesn't even take a file handle. It takes an actual an actual string to open it. Very, it's unpythonic. I'm not a fan. All right, so we're going to have to write out the file. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So I need to literally get this text over to here. Conf dot. And because I'm in Docker, I can't just see my my home over here on the I can't see my home directory, essentially. Because I'm in the Docker workspace. Isn't that wonderful? Let's see if this works. Chances of working, yeah, we'll see. You all scanning string letter will curse you. Arg, 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 arg. Oh, I know what I should do. Yes, I should docker, kill the docker, just run vim. See if that works. Vim executable not. God damn it. VI? Do I, surely I have VI in this docker container. <laughs> yes. It's even alias to vim. Why couldn't you give me vim? Ah, <sighs> arg. Uh, Michael McDowell says, as neural net noob, it looks like life is too short to be using cafe. <laughs> uh, I'm inclined to agree. I'm already getting old here. Oh, I don't. Ugh. Okay. Save conv.prototext. There we go. Okay. Now that we have our file saved over there. All right, now we should be able to at least make our, our net file here. Cafe, ugh. Could not open file, why not? Oh, because the Docker container doesn't exist in there. Gah. LS, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Curse you. Can I do that? No. Who am I? Who am I is not defined, okay. <sighs> I tell ya, I tell ya. Alright, that's not gonna work. Uh, uh, here we go, okay. Shoot. Do that. 
There we go. A, print A, yeah. With open, oh, save any of the stupid stuff. Uh, that. Proto text. Write it off as F. And I can't just use print. F dot write. Okay. LS. Cat con. Okay. Okay. Alright, good night, Chuby. Good luck. Yeah. Have a good day. Good night. Yeah, that's. Let me know how that uh, goes with the the Slimux. Could not open file, but it's right there! It's right there, conj.prototext, that I spelled wrong. One of these days. There we go. Kudu driver version is insufficient. And we crashed. In the Docker container, no less. Which isn't supposed to be using CUDA at all. So I find that interesting. And I gotta retype this whole silly business. Let's try that. With open con dot prototex. Alright. If F dot right. This really shouldn't take that long to ls. So this might end up being another short video, which is okay. Uh, not all the videos have to take forever. It is frustrating when simple things uh, elude me. Cafe. It's doing stuff. And what about cafe.set mode CPU? That's what I really want to use. Am I using this wrong? Should I need to say true? No? Cafe.set mode CPU. So this may be the last video with Cafe. If it's going to crash every time I try to run it. Is there something super weird about this network? Alright, we're going to try one more network here. But I don't want this to be ridiculous. Simple net file. Test, test NN, test memory. Alright. Cafe, Python, cafe, test, test net. We're gonna try that. Okay, okay, here we go. One more, this now third try, third attempt. Let me just comment out those things. Those ain't working. Get rid of that, that's not gonna work. What a bunch of misery. So I just want to run this? This doesn't even run anything. This just defines a bunch of functions. Testnet. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So test. Those are our options. Test core, test IO. I gotta remember how to use the tester in IPython. Is that even gonna be in there though? Cafe dot test? Well, there's capital T test. PyCafe dot no, that's just a bunch of Python stuff. Alright, tell you what, tell you what, we'll just copy some of this in here. Simple net file. Ugh. Yes, we'll do this silly silly business. Feel terrible for just like literally copying. Ugh. There we go. It's a little better. Set background dark. Set background light. I have to do this silly thing to get my get my colors to make sense. I have, hopefully I have better highlighting now. Actually, let me... There we go. One more. One more. There. Perfect. Nice and big. No complaints now. 
All right, simple net file. The question is, can you make a simple net file? Jeez, oh man. What? Jeez, oh man. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, there we go. Let's, let's try that. Let's try that. That's. I can live with this. Uh, I'm gonna need some auto indents turned off. I should really just turn my auto indent off by default. I don't know why I don't. All right, now we've got simple net defined. No outputs. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna set up a simple net with 13 outputs. Yeah, there we go. Let's do that. Um, I'll put equals 13 just for giggles. Net file equals simple net file num output. Yeah, yeah. Net file, some temp file. That's good. It exists. And now we're going to make the net of that. Net file, right? Cafe dot train, sure. Let's see if this crashes now. This crashes. Module, there's no attribute net. Capital net. Big money, check failure stack trace. So, this is a mystery to me. I truly do not. I'm going to try one more thing. That being, force it to use the CPU. And if that is hosed, then I'm just declaring cafe uh, not something I want to use. And perhaps not friendly to new users who are familiar with other Python based machine learning libraries. Yeah. Well, guys and gals, I'm sorry. Uh, it seems we are just having trouble with with cafe here. I, I'll be honest; I wasn't super super excited about doing this with the JSON stuff. Anyway, I would I want to I want to define my model in Python, not in a text file that I read into Python. But like this is choking air equals and it's choking for CUDA stuff and it shouldn't even be trying to run CUDA because I'm running the CPU version as you can see right here so I don't know what the deal is that is super annoying uh, I guess it would be insufficient for CUDA runtime I will do the right thing and search for this error. Search for CUDA runtime, cafe, python, crash. Insufficient, yes, I missed an eye there, excuse me. Well, I have this Kublaz error. I'm not running on iMac, but insufficient, or if it crashes due to insufficient memory in your GPU, try a smaller network. Is this a giant network? I feel like it's not. Num5, channels 2, height 3, width 4. That's a weird convolution, but whatever. Um, so five filters, two input channels, like two colors. Uh, height, width 3, 11, kernel size of 2, pad 3. This isn't that weird. This isn't a giant ass network. CUDA driver version is insufficient. CUDA driver version is insufficient. Let me search that. Forget this. Why do I keep missing that first letter? Yeah. 
Okay, CUDA driver version is insufficient. This is, I'm sure, where I just was. CUDA driver one of one, one of one. Yes, I know. Fucking send me there. You are such a liar. You are such a liar. CUDA. Insufficient, insufficient. Where is this second match? Is there more stuff in the discus that I can't see here? Or is it in... I changed CUDADER equals this. Just add directory where it's CUDA in the library. Is this thing... Cafe is a problem. Is this thing... I just don't understand why CUDA would throw errors when I'm using the CPU version. That seems weird, right? Like, that shouldn't be a problem. That's why I'm stuck using the CPU version. Thread zero crashed. RCNN example. Uh, all right. I think I'm gonna have to call it here. Uh, cafe is a no-go. I'm very sorry, cafe. I was, it's quite possible you are a wonderful, fast, machine learning library that's intuitive once you get to know you uh, but I don't have a there's no one I kn personally know using cafe which is something I'd heard of that I thought I should check out I feel like I've checked it out now and I haven't been able to get it to work and after fighting to install it I don't think it's gonna be worth my time to fight with more given that I already have a bunch of other libraries that I fiddled with enough to say yeah I could work with that like Fine with TensorFlow, fine with Theano, fine with Keras. Uh, I haven't checked out Lasagna, but that one's I'm sure is fine. Even uh, CNTK from Microsoft uh, worked, got, did something at the end. So I think I'm done with Cafe is what I'm deciding. So I'm not going to rant on for another 30 minutes. Uh, we want to talk a little bit next week. I think I'm going to take a break from looking at different software libraries. This wasn't motivated by being frustrated with cafe just in general and I'm gonna work work on a new research project uh, that's sort of come up um, with some like side work that I've been doing so I won't say exactly what it's gonna be uh, until we get there uh, but we're, we're gonna be reading in some font data and we're going well, we're going to be generating some font based data I'll say that much and we're hopefully gonna be building a combination uh, convolutional and recurrent net. So that should be cool. I think I'm going to try to use Keras, but I might switch to TensorFlow. We will see. If you have a different research project or an idea for a research project, I know some people, someone had mentioned I should look at the street view, the some number, street view numbers, like addresses, as an interesting data set. I might look at that at some point. Something you want to me to take a look at, please send that to my email or leave a comment or hit me up on Twitter. Uh, I try to respond to all those things, and I will see when I can take a look at that. Yes, next week, new research project. We're literally going to do data. We're going to, Dan does data. We're making a data set. All right. You guys have a night. Keep on mining those data mines. Find some good gems.